What the ever-loving fuckity fuck is this? Groused a beautiful Amazonian-ish woman with hair like ribbons of ebony silk falling down her back, nearly reaching her waist. She held Primrose Dunham between her slender fingers with a sour expression of absolute distaste. Lifting her high, this stunningly pale creature examined her under the blinding light of an unfamiliar kitchen. You said it, sister. What the ever-loving fuckity-fuck? As Prim looked around at this beautiful kitchen with its shiny appliances, Christmas lights strung from every corner, baskets big and small, filled with shiny ornaments and decorative balls on the counter and the floor by a big dining room table, she realized everything looked enormous, as if she'd been shrunk. Had she been drugged? How could this be real? Two more ladies came to stand by the beautiful woman, their eyes squinting, brows furrowed. One blonde and pretty with flawless makeup, sapphire blue eyes, and bouncy beach-waved curls brushing the length of her spine. The other with chestnut brown hair, upswept and shiny, her makeup tasteful and elegant, her eyes soft and kind. Well, I'll be dipped, the blonde muttered with a cluck of her tongue. Where in all the world did you find something like this, mistress of the dark? Oh, fuck you, ass sniffer. I didn't find it. It found me. It came flying at me outside like some drunk toddler when I was with Carl and Charlie building a fucking snowman. Buzzed me in the head, so I snatched the fucker up in my hand. Yeah, she had. Like some kind of blurred fucking ninja. It had been an accident, of course. She'd zapped the pale lady in the face because she had no idea what she was doing, and with the speed of light, this alleged mistress of the dark had reached up and caught Primrose midair, effectively stopping her wings from moving. Because how the fuck was she supposed to know how to make goddamn wings work? She knew they were wings because she'd felt them fluttering behind her. But the bigger question still remained. How did she get wings to begin with? Jesus and shit. Why are you catching bugs, Nina? Asked Sniffer asked as she made a face. Could you be any weirder than you already are? Nina shoved Primrose in, asked Sniffer's face. Eat a bag of dicks, Marty. I'm not catching bugs. Look at the fucking thing. Is that a firefly? How curious that a firefly survived the snow and colder temperatures, the elegant lady said, her voice soft as she hugged a young boy of maybe three or four with skin that had a green cast to it on her hip. I thought they died off after the summer. The dark-haired goddess made a face, and even though it was an unattractive one, she still managed to be supermodel flawless. It's not a fucking firefly, Wanda. Use those half-werewolf, half-vampire eyes and look at the GD thing.